Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the tuning fork diagram. What is that? Well, it turns out we needed a way to classify the various types of galaxies. The Bart galaxies, the Bart spiral galaxies, the regular spiral galaxies, the elliptical galaxies. And one way to do that was to place them on a tuning fork. Now a tuning fork, if you're familiar with what that looks like, it has a stem just like any fork, but it only has two prongs forming the, the way in which we can then hit the tuning fork and then listen to a particular sound. Of course, that's not what we use it for here. But what we can do here is we can place the elliptical galaxies on the stem and the spiral galaxies on one of the prongs and then we have the bar spiral galaxies on the other side. So, we classify the spiral galaxies, both the regular spirals and the barred spirals, by how tightly their arms are wound around them. If the arms are fairly tight around them, we call them SA for spiral class A, SB for spirals B, and SC for spiral C. You see that when it's a SC, the, the arms are really far out. When they're SA, they're kind of very tightly to the central bulge. And for SB, they're somewhere in between. Same for the barred spiral galaxies, spiral barred A, spiral barred B, and spiral barred C. Notice for the spiral barred A, the arms are very close together, for B, they're a little bit further out, and for C, they're very far out. Also notice for the barred spiral galaxy, the arms tend to come out of the far end of each of the edges of the rectangles. You can see that they're farther and farther out like this. Now, for the elliptical galaxies, we have they're classified from E0 all the way to E7. Now E0, they're essentially spherical, and when they're E7s, they're very flattened out, they're very elliptical, and all the various types in between. So we go from E0 all the way to E7, and then we have kind of an in-between, in-between a spiral and a, and a uh, elliptical galaxy, where the spiral arms are so tightly wound, you really can distinguish them from the central bulge. So here we have a few examples. We have the pinwheel galaxy, and you can see that the pinwheel kind of looks like an SB. It's definitely, the arms are far, out, far away enough, so not to call it an SA, and they're not flung far out. We have quite a few of them that are kind of relatively tightly wound around the central bulge. So a pinwheel galaxy is typically called an SB galaxy. Now, of course, it's part of the opinion plays a role in that. And some people will say, no, I think it's more like an SA, or some people say it's more like an SC, but I would classify it as an SB. Here we have the Whirlpool Galaxy, and you can see again that the arms are not that tightly wound, but they're not really flung far out, so I'd call the uh, Whirlpool Galaxy also probably an SB galaxy. Then we have this one right here, which is a barred spiral galaxy. The arms are very tightly wound together. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but I would call that one an SBA. And then here we have something where we cannot really tell that it has spiral arms. They're there, but you cannot distinguish them from the rest of the galaxy. I would classify that as an S0. So here, by being able to classify galaxies according to the tuning fork, we can talk to one another and say, hey, take a look at that galaxy, that's an SC or that's an SBA or something like that. And immediately the other person knows what the shape of that galaxy will be. And so that's the beauty of the methodology used in the tuning fork, that it now becomes very easy to imagine what the galaxy looks like simply by mentioning where it belongs on the tuning fork. And that's the beauty of this methodology. Good system. I like it. <laughs> but where's the irregular ones? They're irregular. They're like every imaginable shape and you can't really classify oh, them. The they really are. They're kind of like they're left small. on the side. They're small. And you don't even put them on a tuning fork? They're not on the tuning fork. That's right. They're left kind of on the outside by themselves. Oh. Feel bad for them? <laughs> okay. <laughs>